Okay, the work continues on the tsunami scene, but mostly in the background now for some time because they have to spend a lot of time building models. Like for instance, uh, yesterday I was working on the boat. As you can see, let me stop this in here. So you see I have my controls and my wheel in the back. Beginnings of a fishing pole. I'll model out the fishing reel probably today. And the back doors and the windows. These are all modified so I can change these up, these boat designs really quickly. So I do a lot of kind of it planning in advance so then once I have the basics in place then it's really easy to make different variations of it. So this is going to be the basic sports fisher boat. There is going to be, um, of course, there's going to be a military fleet of boats and uh, yeah, mm -hmm, and lots of other things. But you can see the water looks nice in here but it has issues when it comes across the deck like that. So that's something I'll have to work with certain you can use certain effects certain effects you can't use all right so let's try something else let's see here so now here's the boat now I'm working with some rigid bodies within cycles here but I haven't determined how I want to build the dock yet this is why actually one of the most challenging things if you look at the uh, my tornado simulator a lot of the work that went into that, that simulator was very specific ways to build the buildings to make things break apart with rigid bodies. It wasn't the actual design of the tornado action and stuff was really easy to do but all the time even in this case with all the time I'll spend to make this work right is doing a lot of little details to make the dock work correctly with rigid bodies and then I have to plan that in accordance with bringing it over to the game engine because of course the rigid bodies in the game engine are different than the rigid bodies within Blender Render. But I can see it'll work, and if you notice in here, the boat is actually generating waves like that. And boats may be moving a little bit too fast to tell, but you really to make that really look nice, you really have to crank up the resolution of this surface in here, and then your processing time goes way up again. So a lot of the results of this are going to end up being in a, in a game engine environment. So it's the model building that's the most important for me at this point. So just. Uh, just continuing on and I'll see you in the next video.